So we heard from multiple of the previous speakers that the changes that we see in aging is a regulated process. And in Deepak Srivastava's lab here at Gladstone, uh, one of the things that we study are the changes that are regulated that we see in gene networks uh, over aging. So my research focuses on a disease that affects the heart valves, hardening them with calcification over time, uh, leading to a narrowing of the valves such that blood cannot flow properly from the heart to the body. And this leads to over 100,000 valve transplants annually in the United States alone. Uh, so this heart disease increases in incidence with age. Uh, so up to one in 25 people over the age of 65 develop the disease. Our lab previously identified two families with this heart valve disease, and we found that they had mutations in one of two copies of a gene called Notch, leading to decreased dosage in Notch in the heart valves. However, why this decreased dosage of Notch led to heart valve disease was unknown. We cannot study this disease in mice because mice with mutations in one copy of Notch uh, do not develop disease. And so with the advent of induced pluripotent stem cell technology by Shinya Yamanaka, who is here at Gladstone, we're finally able to study this disease in human cells from the patients uh, that they themselves were affected by this disease by turning skin cells from these patients into stem cells and then turning those stem cells into the cells that line the heart valves. And so we could study these cells uh, from the patients in the dish. And so using this system, we were able to identify the gene networks that were altered due to decreased dosage in notch. And we found that the abnormal calcification that occurs in the valves is due to the cells starting to think that they're bone and laying down calcium. Um, so uh, through, these, through this work, we we're able to identify these gene networks. And now we are doing a screen with about 2,000 small molecules to identify drugs in the dish um, that could correct the gene network changes that we see in patients with this heart valve disease. And our preliminary data shows that we may have one or more drugs that have already been FDA approved uh, for other purposes that may be successful gene network correctors in the dish in these human cells. Um, however, we still do not have an animal model in which to test these drugs that we identified through the screen. So this started me thinking uh, back to what I said previously uh, so why do mice not develop the same disease that humans do when they lose one copy of this gene, Notch? Um, so this led me to thinking about telomeres. Uh, so on the end of each of our chromosomes, there's uh, pieces of DNA that cap the chromosomes and prevent their deterioration. So they protect the chromosomes. Um, and so these uh, telomeres on the ends of the chromosomes shorten with each cell division. So over all the cell divisions that occur throughout our lifetime, the telomeres shorten with age. Uh, and this has been linked to multiple age-related diseases. Uh, so since, as I told you before, this heart valve disease incidence increases with age, I wondered whether this age-related telomere shortening was playing a role in this disease process. Um, so it turns out that indeed in humans that have heart valve disease, their telomeres are shorter than healthy people that are the same age. Um, and I knew that in laboratory mice, their telomeres are much longer than in humans. So I wondered whether these longer telomeres were protecting the mice from the heart valve disease that occurs in humans. Uh, so to test this, I genetically shortened the telomeres of notch mutant mice. And uh, after doing this, it, we found that these mice now do develop the same heart valve calcification that occurs in human disease. So this provides us with an opportunity to test any successful gene network correctors that we find from the drug screen in the human cells in the dish in an animal model, and as well as further studying the role of telomere shortening that occurs in age-related diseases. Uh, so through this work, we hope to identify an effective therapy to uh, prevent or delay the uh, heart valve disease in humans and as well as to further understand the role of age-related telomere shortening in diseases that affect us as we age. So, thank you.